What is up guys and girls, my name is WeddyH, today I'm going to be analysing the Wonder Wolf DG2. I did this about a year back for Call of Duty Black Ops 1, but obviously that's very outdated now with Black Ops 3, a lot has changed. So I hope you enjoy this updated version, the sources can be found in the description. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. The Wonder Wolf DG2 is the pinnacle secret of Nazi technology. It was built at Doris along with the teleporters and was intended to be mass produced and supplied to the frontline troops to win the war. Dr. Edward Richthofen created it as revealed by his quotes when he receives it from the mystery box and a document from V. Bush. Packed with 200,000 amperes of devastating chained electrical current in game, it is incredibly powerful sending a bolt of lightning at the targeted enemy, killing it instantly. The bolt then proceeds to hit up 9 nearby enemies with no diminished power, for a maximum killing potential of 10 zombies. However, in order for the DG2 to effectively work, the zombies should be nearby each other, as if the zombies are more than 5 yards away from each other, the bolt might not link other zombies. The Wonder Wolf DG2 has 3 cartridges on the side for ammunition, and 15 reserved, totalling 18. This gives it a maximum killing potential of 180 zombies. These unique attributes make it an ideal room clearing weapon. The Wonder Wolf DG2 is powered by Divinium, better known as Element 115. The Divinium generates electricity which is contained within three Tesla power tubes that the player reloads into the Wonder Wolf. Whenever the player reloads it, they have to eject the vacuum tubes and insert new ones before pulling on a lever, lighting up the power cells and putting the Wonder Wolf DG2 back into a firing mode. The Wonder Wolf takes about 6 seconds to fully reload without speed cola, but the player can reload cancel after just 3 seconds to fully recharge it. This is very handy considering its small magazine size. The Wonder Wolf DG2 returns in the zombies map The Giant. Similar to previous iterations, it has the capacity to kill 10 zombies at once with infinite damage, but no longer does splash damage to the user. There is an additional blast when fired close to zombies, dealing minor damage. The lightning bolt will take more time to link between zombies, making it less effective to use in a pinch or when concerned. The Wonder Wolf DG3 JZ, the Pack-a-Punched version, holds the same upgrades as before, giving more magazine size and reserve ammo. It has purple bulbs now when upgraded, although this is merely cosmetic. Previously due to a bug, the Wonder Wolf would sometimes have a faulty hit detection. Only the close range blasts would hit zombies, and the lightning bolt would not register to any of them, making it very ineffective as the blast would deal little damage. It was caused by having the dead wire upgrade on any weapon, and it could not be fixed without starting a new game. However, this was fixed in an update. Well guys, that was the updated version of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3's Wonder Wolf DG2. If you would like to see the original version, I will leave it in the description, that was more aimed towards Black Ops 1 however, but you can always go and check it out if you feel you would like to. If you'd like to support me in any way, it'd be greatly appreciated if that's simply leaving a like, subscribing, or commenting. You can find the latest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies content on this channel, and if you decide to hang around, then it would be awesome. So, thank you for tuning in, have a fantastic day, and I will, of course, see you in the next video. Goodbye.